Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. Today we're going to take a look at the Husqvarna 450X Auto Mower. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the main board in the mower. Now this information really isn't too useful if you don't have access to the dealer software and you're putting a new board in. If you're swapping in a used board into another machine or for whatever reason you're just playing around and pulling the board out of it, uh, this will show you how to do it. If nothing else, you get a look at the inside of an automower and see what makes it tick. In this particular case I had a problem with the batteries not charging and uh, in the end my problem was twofold with between the charging station and the mower itself. So you can see I just popped the hood off the top, you know, after disconnecting the wires on the bottom. Those four joysticks, they, uh, the hood rocks on those joysticks. And there are actually switches under those joysticks to control, uh, so it knows when it bumps into something or if it's been lifted. On the left, uh, the insert video there is Moby Dick. He's crossing my driveway. Um, I don't know. I just thought I'd throw some footage in there of some random automores. Not doing the normal thing. And uh, the option was for you just to sit here and watch me turn screws out of a top cover of an automore. So... So we split the thing in half and this is what we have. First we have to remove this ribbon that holds the the hood on there. Get that out of the way. Inside the blue things are the batteries. To the north and south of those are the wheel motors. The main board is back here with all the uh, wires hooked to it. So really, for me, this turned out to be an exercise in swapping main boards. I had two or three boards that were harvested out of uh, crushed automores. Ones that got backed over by cars, or one even got backed over by a UPS truck. And uh, I had to test those and make sure that they were good or bad. And it actually turned out that they each had one little weird quirk wrong with them. One wouldn't connect to my software. Another one wouldn't ba boot past the uh, initial screen. So in the end, uh, I ended up installing a brand new board into this mower. So there's only two screws here that actually hold the board in place. There's a little tab on them screws. Once you slide the tab out of the way, uh, the board will just lift out. Once you got all the wires off, of course. So I already know that board is bad. And this will be our replacement. And from this point forward, we're just uh, doing everything in the opposite direction. The insert video here is from three or four years ago, an install we did. The only way this guy had to get into the other half of his yard was through this narrow passage. And... Um, you know, this isn't typical. If that machine bumps that fence on its way through here, it's going to get lost and it's going to get jammed up in there. Uh, but as long as it can pass through there without uh, bumping anything and getting hung up and having to make a corrective turn, it'll be fine. And, um, the, you know, the homeowner knew he'd have to smooth this path out some after we left. 
It's been running good like this for years now. So we're going to get all our wires pushed onto the main board and the last connection I'll make will be the battery wires. That would be the red and yellow ones here. Now some people would say I should be using a static discharge cord while I'm working with this and I certainly can't argue that point but I don't and I haven't had any problems I guess I'll just leave it at that so anytime we open these things up we take a look and see if there's anything else going on there was a little bit of moisture down there in the corner so I'm just gonna wipe that out of there and then um, anytime I split it open it gets a new seal so we're going to pull the old seal out of here. And grab our new handy dandy seal. There's a little notch up front here where I get started. We're just going to start the seal just beyond the notch and then work our way around the machine. Now if you notice, I'm not pulling and stretching on this seal. I'm letting it loosely lay in the slot. Now, there's enough length on the seal to do this and we don't want it pulling, stretching, or shrinking. And then when we get to the end there's that notch I was talking about. We just drop the end of the seal through that notch. So we'll plug our ribbon back in. It goes to the uh, keypad board put the top back on this machine has got 9900 hours on it I believe or 9900 miles what the hell is it? no I can't remember I may have deleted it out of here now the video insert you're looking at is the, the same as the last one but just going in the other direction So we're going to get these screws all tightened down. It's probably not a good idea to use the impact driver on these. i got to set to a pretty low setting. I haven't had any problems. If I do strip out, a, strip out a screw, I'll just put a bigger screw in it. This isn't a customer's mower. This is one that we run on our lawn crew. Um, this machine's been ser in service for three or four years. And... Um, you know, it just gets filled up with used parts whenever it needs a, a replacement what's it or doohickey. In fact, under here you'll see that those blue connectors are not factory stock. That's a repair that we did. And it seems to work fine like that. But we'll get all our wires put back together and then push these grommets back in the bottom body of the machine so when we get to the end of this video you're gonna see that the uh, you know the machine boots up 
and then I'll hook it up to my our auto check software and check for updates and such. But the last shot that you'll see is how it doesn't boot up and uh, in that case it's that's what you get when you put in a brand new board and a dealer has to do that because there's no serial number associated with in the board yet in fact the board doesn't even know what model machine that it was just put into so you can't just go buy a new board and bolt it in and expect to be on your way it's uh, a dealer only task my phone's giving me grief maybe I shouldn't be playing on my phone while I'm YouTubing huh oh what do we got here we set the time and date and whatever and you can see now I got 50 50 percent battery uh, the other board wasn't re uh, recording the battery voltage at all. I don't know why. You can see in this screen here that the capacity is 4160, what is it, milliamp hours. And the capacity is 2232. And the other battery is very similar. So they're half charged, but the thing was reporting zero. This is a screen you'll see if you put a brand new board in. And you can't go any further than this without hooking up to Auto Check 3. So that's all I got for you on uh, Husky 450 main board install. Thanks for watching. Later.